All right, you guys, so I just wanted to show you my setup for my mini candle photography studio. Um, so I just wanted to show you that I have a ring light that I got from Amazon. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description. I don't remember the name of it right now, but I love it because it has um, three separate adapters here. Here you can put your camera, um, and then you can put your cell phone on either side. And then the cool thing about it is if you come back here, um, it has these knobs where you can choose the warmth of the light. You know, I love that. And then here you could choose like the tone, the coolness or whatever. Um, so I always like to keep it nice and bright. Don't mind my mess in the background. I am a candle maker and not everything is always as perfectly organized as you see on YouTube. But anyway, um, I also purchased this um, light box that I love so much. I purchased this a long time ago, back when I was doing embroidery. Um, and I purchased it to... Um, to take pictures of my uh, my garments, my hats or my shirts or whatever it is that I was making. Um, so I was gonna sell it after I gave up with embroidery, but I'm so glad that I kept it. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna show you what it looks like turned on without the ring light. So there the ring light is off and then this is as much light as I get from this, um, from the little booth there. And then with the ring light on, as you can see, I get plenty more light. So I love to use this um, for my candles. So today I wanted to show you how I do my mock-ups. Um, I like to take this ring light and I kind of adjust it like that. I don't know if you can see me kind of bending it a little bit. But I'm going to move this as close as I can to the inside of this little box here. And then, I don't know if you can see that, right? Okay, so it gives me more light. Again, if I turn it off, this is what I'm going to get. And if I turn it on, I get a lot more lighting. So let me go grab my candles and show you how I take pictures of my mock-ups. And then I'm going to show you how I edit on Canva. Okay, so here is my 8-ounce tin that I got from California Candle Supply. Um, this is the matte black tin. comes with a lid. Um, what I did was I just printed out a blank label. I didn't even buy it. I just printed it out using my Cricut. Um, I measured out 3.5 by 1.4, which is the measurements that I like to use for this tin. Um, and then this is empty. There's no candle inside. It's empty. And then this candle here is my 16 ounce, but uh, my 16 ounce jar, but I only fill it with 12 ounces worth of wax. This one does not have a wick. Um, this one only has just wax. So what had happened was that I was testing out some candles and I went to clean the jar and I said, you know what? I'm just gonna fill it with wax, plain old wax, no fragrance oil, nothing on it, inside of it, I meant to say. Um, I let it solidify. I close it with the lid, you know, I um, added the label right there. Again, same size. Uh, 3.5 by 1.4. I smacked the blank label right on it and that's it. So now all I'm going to do is just take shots of my candles um, using props. So I'll give you an example of how I do that. Um, and forgive the shaky camera. I'm actually filming with my, my iPhone 10. So you're probably not going to get the best image quality, but I'm just giving you a rough idea. So down here I have um, this baby blanket that I got from Amazon is what I use. A lot of people ask me where I got it from. And all I do kind of is just, and I love it because as you can see, like, it doesn't wrinkle. I love it so much. I chose white because, I don't know, it's just pretty. I love, I love the aesthetics. Um, and usually what I like to do is I come up here and I somehow just tuck the blanket. I'm going to try to do this with one hand because it's kind of challenging to do it with one hand but I'm gonna grab a corner and then I'm just gonna and you guys can just decorate however you want I mean I'm not a decorator or anything like that I just get ideas from Pinterest and stuff so as you can see how it just kind of falls real pretty see that I love that so I'm just gonna leave it like that because I think it looks nice 
Then I'm just gonna take the candle and kind of pop it right there. And then I have a Canon, my camera that I use to take the shots. So let me just grab it with my other hand and I'm gonna try my best to show you this. If you guys don't have a Canon, that's okay. I have this little piece right here in my camera because that's what I use to mount it right on this tripod here. So I use that to mount it there. Um, but we're not doing that today. I just wanna actually show you how I take the photos. Okay, anyway, I can do it with one hand, but you get the idea. So this is my camera, okay? And then it is a T5i. I've had this for about six years, seven years, something like that, for all eternity. Um, and then I have the Nifty 50 lens. See, the 50mm is what I use to take my shots to get those blurry backgrounds. Um, but, like I said, if you don't have a Canon or one of those fancy cameras, you can still use your phone, put it on portrait mode, and just get creative. Start off with blank backgrounds like that. Just start off and then start snapping away. That's a good shot. I'll go ahead and grab it. Boom. Easy. Um, then you could go ahead and I have a whole bag here of props that... I just start gathering props from the stores. This I got from, like for example, this pumpkin is so cute. It came with a super duper long stick and all I did was just take the stick, I removed it. Um, and this was like, I don't know, $4 or something at Hobby Lobby um, and I love it. So for example, you could just simply put it in the background, I don't know, and then take the shot, boom. All right, I'm gonna show you those shots. Um, and then, I don't know, play around with it. You could also, let's see. You could also get more creative. Right, so you can just get more creative if you want. I have a lot more things. I have this family sign. I have um, bless the food sign. I was like on sale for like $2, something like that. I have these beads. A lot of people like to use these little beads. It's very popular. Um, wow, there's so many things that we can use here. I have flowers. I have, um, let's see, this grass thingy. Roots. I have these flowers. So pretty for the fall. So you just get creative. I don't know. Place it there. Grab the shot. Grab the shot right there. The idea is just to, you know, just have fun. I think starting off with a white background helped me to just explore my creativity and not feel threatened or intimidated. I think the hard part was just having a candle that I couldn't read. With this white label here, it just gives me more freedom to just take as many shots as I want to, where I want to and then be able to edit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you over to my computer and show you how I edit on Canva. All right, so here we are. I have um, uploaded my images to my computer and I'm just gonna open up the shots that we just finished taking. Here's one of them. I'm just gonna save um, the images to my computer and then I'm gonna go ahead and just open it up and show you what it looks like. Um, there it is. Again, you guys can play with the lighting. Um, whatever else you wanna do um, to edit your photos, you could do that. But I'm just doing like a basic mock-up tutorial. So there, I'm just adding it, like I said, to my photos on my computer. And then I'm going to just um, X out of my YouTube video that I was watching. I was listening to music um, but anyway I'm gonna open up Canva and then after I open up Canva I'm just gonna go on to uh, one of the labels that I was already working on so whatever measurements um, you were using for your labels or whatever size your labels are um, just create a label um, like you normally would and then the only thing is that when you download your label, see there, you could resize it. But when you download the label, 
make sure that you download the label to transparent. That is the trick to this whole entire mock-up situation. Um, make sure that you download on transparent. Here, I'm just going to put in strawberry guava just to give you an idea of how I'm editing my labels. As you can see, this is super humongous, um, but it's just to give you a visual. Um, again, whatever size your label is, you could just go ahead and edit it right here on your Canva. So I'm just going to play around with these words and move them around to my liking and set it up the way that you know makes me happy for my specific brands for my specific you know candle um so right there you're gonna go ahead and download transparent background png suggested leave it there and transparent background so you're just gonna go ahead download it and open it right up okay so you're gonna open it it should pop up and let's see what happens when we open it up on the new tab and check it out. So there is the strawberry guava label that we just made. I'm gonna save it to my photos. Um, it's gonna look like that because it's transparent. There's no white background, there's nothing behind it. All you did was just download the words. And then now I'm gonna go back out to my homepage. It's easier for me like this. And just, um, you could grab a blank, you know, image, you know, and start fresh. But I just wanted to show you, I was working on this one this morning. Um, and I'm just going to start off blank so that you can see. I'm going to go ahead and upload the photos that we just took. I was going to show you something else, like a different picture that I took yesterday. But I'm going to show you exactly what we were doing today together. So the pictures that we took on the iPhone, I'm going to just pop them right into the screen. So the recent photo that I just took with you guys, so that we just took together, let's grab this eight ounce tin, and then I'm gonna just upload it to Canva. I pay $9.99 a month for this, um, for the Canva. I don't know if this specific method of doing stuff is free, it probably is, give it a shot. If not, just let me know in the comments down below and I can help you out in a different way, but I'm pretty sure that you could do this. You don't have to subscribe to anything. Grab the image, pop it right into that blank canvas, stretch it out, you know, make it fit into, you know, the blank canvas, stretch it out and all of that good stuff. There's the image that we just took using the iPhone and it doesn't look bad. Like I said, you don't have to have one of those fancy, you know, cameras. You could do this with your phone um, and then play around with the lightings and the contrast and all of that other stuff. So we're going to go to recents. We're right now looking for that guava, that strawberry guava. There it is. We're going to open it up. And there it's uploading again to our left-hand side. Um, and then I'm just going to grab it and just pop it right into my screen right there. So I'm moving it. I'm having a little bit of difficulty there, but it's okay. Grab the grab handles there and size it to the size of your candle. And that's it. We just finished creating our very first mock-up together so if you guys have any questions if you like this video make sure to subscribe to my channel um, leave me comments down below um, and another idea you could sell your mock-ups on Etsy if you're looking for another source of income but again thank you guys so much for watching until the next video bye